Hey everyone, it's Captain Thief with more Dust Force. Um, it starts me off up here, right up the tail screen. I probably should have captured that, but oh well. So last time we uh, beat Kilo Difficult and like gave a really good try to Mega Difficult. Um, and then, oh, there's Giga. Okay, so Kilo, yeah, I was able to SD that. I don't know. I don't think I really have too much of a chance, but like I said, you know, I'd probably give it a pretty good try at least. Oh, actually, I think Dustman might be a good shot for this one, actually. Oop. I just go ahead and died. Twice. Three times, actually. Maybe... I don't know, I kind of missed being Dust Gal here, though, because, you know, the, the red uh, collage or whatever. Oh, died. I'm only trying to beat this for now. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be good enough to double S rank it, though. Just gonna put that out there, uh, Mr. Northgate, because um, it's hard. Especially the thread the needle twice part. Um, but yes, I feel like maybe actually just beating it is probably pretty good practice at least. Um, for Giga Difficult. And that is something I need. Practice for Giga Difficult. Well, the best practice for Giga Difficult would probably be giga difficult but you know what that that's just way too out of the box thinking for this channel we're not gonna discuss that all right that was nice okay oh yeah that's right I get raised up just a bit how did I do that Okay, well, I threaded the needle, like, not on my first try, but dang, was it kind of close. Too high. Still kind of too high, but, you know, I didn't let it get to me, and that's what let me win. I kind of don't like this part for commentary, because, you know, I get all focused, and then I, I uh, stop talking, or I uh, talk, and I... Uh, <clears throat> well, lose my concentration. So, you know, maybe this wasn't a very wise choice of a game to actually let's play. Still, I'm getting up here pretty effortlessly, though, I gotta admit, compared to last time. So that's a thing. On the other hand, I've noticed that, you know, I have kind of a... Uh, a video naming pattern where I'll name the video after a gold level if I double S rank it and I uh, named the previous video like Kilo Difficult because I just SD'd it. I didn't double S rank it. I think you know if I ever do get around to double S ranking something I'll just you know name it Kilo Difficult SS or something like that. Maybe that would probably be the thing to do. I don't know. So, you know, I've, I've kind of salvaged that uh, mistake I sort of made. Then again, I don't know what I would have named it otherwise, so whatever. Man, they want you to be pixel perfect with uh, your entry here. Okay, for a minute there, I thought I was still going to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... You know, until I commented on how well I was doing. Well, I appreciate Dust Gal, but uh, I think all these years of training as Dust Man has uh, really kind of tied the loop on uh, which character I'm best at. Let's let's be honest. If I replayed the entire game as Dust Gal, maybe I could pull this off as her. But oh. <laughs> made the classic mistake at, at dashing at the end but um yeah too high too high and then it raised me like half a centimeter yeah on the other hand i probably shouldn't be dust galling it too much because i'm gonna beat giga difficult as dust man i think so uh be careful about that. Let's not get too used to somebody else's controls. 
Ah, speaking of, you know, there there are actually I I may have been completely wrong about uh, a lot of things actually, but um, I think I might have said that uh, it took a long time for anyone to double S rank uh, Zada Yada difficult to the one at the very top of the room. I think what I was thinking about was uh, a custom level called Infinite Difficult. Which was actually made by the devs, if I remember correctly, but it's not in the base game. You gotta, you know, download it in the workshop or something. So, you know, that's a thing. And it's like five minutes long. That, that's the level I was thinking of. Alright. Alright. I'm up. I'm dead. <laughs> that's just how it is. Okay. I feel like I have... Quite a good shot about actually beating this, though. Not double S ranking it, mind you, but uh, still something that counts. Uh, if I can get my entry correct. That's probably the hard part, is I gotta get the entry right twice. And then once I get the entry right, when I'm trying to double S rank this, I'll get all sweaty about trying to get the sequence right. And then uh, fall through and lose. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those things, guys. You know, I, I've been pinpointing the stressful parts and not like, oh man, it's causing me so much stress, but you know, actually I kind of do mean it that way. I don't mean that the game's overstressing me, but I know that when, I, when I'm facing a level with one high difficulty spike in there, uh, as soon as I pass the spike, you know, it's home free. But then when I have a level with two of those, then I have to pass the first one, and then I'm thinking about the second one the whole time, and it just throws me way off. Oh, I dashed at the wrong time again. Why? Why me? All right. But yeah, uh, what I was getting at was, uh, eesh, what was I getting at? There's a cat at my door. He's really distracting me by constantly meowing at the door. Well, why don't you let him in? Okay, I'll do that. And now he's just kind of staring at me. Alright. Get in here. Do whatever you're doing. And be quiet. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Uh, yeah. Distraction over. Ah, dang it. I wanted to smash attack down or whatever you want to call this power move yeah so this one I feel like has at least five difficulty spikes and for the record I think hideout had maybe two or three so um, this is this is another level of craziness for me all right, <laughs> all right. I can almost cry <laughs> it took me that long to beat it. Uh, double threaded needle all the way across the sky, guys. Um, quick question. What the heck do you want me to do? Uh, okay, thankfully. Um, I didn't, like, just lose here. Alright, so. Ow. Seriously, now. I can only destroy that thing with a power move, by the way. And when I go too low, it automatically kills me and I can't jump. See? I, I tried to hit jump. So it must want me to go through there. Alright, I think I figured it out. I mean, sort of. Alright, that was five difficulty spikes up to now. This is a, yet another difficulty spike, unless I, like, somehow master this in some way. And since this came out before Giga Difficult, I'm going to guess that they didn't expect you to do the glitch to get through the 45 degree thing. I'm thinking... Ah, I almost made it. Alright, alright. Well, I made it through. That counts for something. That counts for something. Uh, can I talk about my nightmares from last night? Yeah, I can. Um, 
it's Sunday. I, you know, not to tell you too much about my work or whatever, but I work Monday through Friday, so, you know, the weekend is definitely the traditional reprieve it is for me that it is in common American culture, whatever. Anyway, I kept dreaming that um, I was sleeping through on a Monday. I was like, holy crap, I gotta get through this, and or, I gotta wake up, and I couldn't wake up or something, or I slept, and it's already 11 o'clock, and I gotta call my boss and tell him, oh man, uh, I'm sorry, but I overslept, I'll be late into work, or maybe I won't even be able to make it, because, well, there are reasons why I can't actually just go to work if it's already 11 o'clock. Um, schedules of sorts. Actually, no, I, I could. It would just be a huge pain. I haven't, that actually, that actually hasn't happened yet, so, um, that's why I didn't think about it, or, yeah. And I'm trying not to reveal the reasons, because, you know, you know what, it, I will. I think I already did. I, I have to take a bus all the way to work, and it's actually a one and a half hour commute there, and a two hour commute back. Well, no, it's actually an hour and a half commute no? Give me a second. Yeah, it's like an hour and a half there and an hour and 45 minutes back. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the ticket. And, uh, so yeah, I, I, I kept thinking about that the whole time. I can drive there. It's just hell on my car and hell on the gas mileage. I've tried driving to work before. It was okay, but, you know, I couldn't help but calculate how much money I spent on gas and it was not worth it. Not worth it at all. Game, what you what do you want me to do? Previous Captain Thief, show me how to do this, please. Ah, oh, thanks. So Yeah, just beating this level, guys, is gonna be hard enough. Ah, almost made it. I I wanna at least try and get an S rank here. That sounds like fun. Uh, dude, you, you flew up there too quick. I, I wanted to get up there and kind of relax a little. Oh well, though. Ow. Alright, I think I've kind of got this down. Ow. Except for that part. I do not have that part down. Just smack right into the spikes. Okay, and then just destroy it. Oh no! Okay, there's something... I gotta do something up there. I haven't been planning this out. Uh, basically how all my desktop dungeons videos go. I didn't plan this out at all. I, I basically look for like... One turn or two turn opportunities. I, I'm not thinking way ahead like, okay. Ten turns from now I could have everybody dead and then just pick up all the blood. Worship Dracul. Get whatever and do the thing and yeah. Nope, that's not me. It's just like, oh hey, I can still do this and maybe that'll win. I won that Aaron Boy Part 1 thing on a freaking lucky fluke thanks to a sub dungeon. Oh wait, we're talking about Dust Force, so let's maybe talk about Dust Force. Uh, okay. Um, where'd my second jump go? I had it. Don't tell me I didn't. Don't tell me I didn't. And also don't, you know, like, actually record this video and uh, show me exactly where I used it, because that's just embarrassing. Or do that, I don't care. Uh, only one person has used footage from my videos so far. Oh, wait, no. Like, technically, Eric counts, because he and I both did co-op uh, games online, and we would both actually release said videos um, on our channels. And it was kind of fun, because, you know, I... I would edit out stuff and he would edit out stuff. So we'd have like two different stories, or the same story but different perspectives going on. Very minor anyway. It wasn't like a huge deal. And, uh, what was I getting at? Yeah, so I only had one other person besides Eric use footage from my videos to do something. And they weren't doing very nice things because, one, they were just ripping off my videos. They were just like, uh, Seriously, where did my where did my second jump go? I need to I need to I need to see this. I'm sorry. We'll get to this. Uh, anyway, yeah, it was just like a bot that was 
capturing my YouTube stuff and re-uploading it. Only it was slightly brighter and I don't know. They weren't getting a whole lot of views from it, but I was like, wow, I'm worthy enough to steal from? Awesome! And then I thought, eh, I don't know, it's just a bot. It's not like it's making a judgment call. So I have no idea what, what to think about it. No idea whatsoever. Okay. Huh. Maybe it wants me to get onto the wall there without destroying the giant thing and then destroy the giant thing and then climb up and then I'll have my second jump and I don't know, something? Something like that? I'm thinking something like that, guys. Yes, if I beat Mega Difficult, and I'm thinking I will at this rate, uh, I'll name it Mega Difficult. <laughs> Ouch. I'm guessing that uh, Dustworth is actually pretty good here. Yeah, if I can just destroy the... Wow, actually I was doing pretty good with just regular jumps. Regular jumps? Ow. At least I thought I was doing pretty good there with regular jumps. But the angulitude is not good enough, I'm afraid. I didn't have faith in me. And that's where it all crumbled. Okay, so it's all about having the right angle of attack on the jump, I think. I think. Uh, I'm destroying you each time, which is probably not very good news for you, actually. I think regular jumps will work. Okay, maybe not so much. That was like the best regular jump I could do, and I just don't get high enough off of my own supply. Alright. Ow. Another option is probably to try and go down. Kind of. I kind of like this this direction though. Yeah. It just fits more with the fact that I get lifted up a bit. Whereas that one getting lifted up lifted up his death. Okay. Yeah. Ah, dang it. This level suffers from that typical thing I was talking about, by the way, where I don't get to practice the upper part when I need to be able to do it. Of course, they have, you know, I'm sure there's probably a mega difficult custom level that puts a checkpoint, or even the entire level is just this specific part, and by this specific part, I mean that part up there. So I could do that to practice, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea how to look at that. Also I cleared out like 1.73 terabytes of footage from my uh, external hard drive. I have like a 10 terabyte hard drive for recording, which is great. I don't have to worry about space anymore. It used to be a real problem juggling that stuff. I'd have to render everything and erase everything. and I only worked with like 80 gigs or so. Actually it was probably more like 150, but that filled up fast. And so yeah, I, I cleared out 1.73 terabytes, which is 10 times that 150 I was just talking about. It was a bunch of uh, old desktop dungeons, uh, some of this Dust Force too, and uh, the, my whole Resident Evil series, so... And I, oh yeah, and it was Cannon Brawl as well. Maybe a few other things, but uh, nothing's really come jumping out at me, so... You know, maybe my computer is a little happier now that I've kind of freed it up, even though it wasn't anywhere close to full. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Come on, Dustman, you can do this. Stop smacking your head against the spikes. Maybe I should just be trying to really learn how to get past this, so that way I don't even have to worry about kind of practicing the upstairs, because I'll be practicing the upstairs. Wow. Okay, how'd I do that? Um, I don't know. I was just kind of like very close, but also no cigar. Alright. 
Ah. Seriously, game, what do you want me to do? What you want? What you want? However, that guy says that in Borderlands 1 and or 2. Ah, let's talk about Borderlands, actually. I kind of liked 1. I'm not sure why, but, like, it was a lot more gritty and had just a little bit of element to com of comedy to it. Borderlands 2, I know, improved on a lot of things, but I just feel like the entire thing was trying to be a huge comedy. I know, people still dying and blah blah blah, but, uh... Oh, what do you want me to do here? Oh, there we go. I got it, but that was like very good timing. Which, by the way, was accidental. I was not like super good about that. Brand specs. So yeah, I, I just think uh, Borderlands 1 had a better story and... Hmm. I kind of want to say it had better perks too. Yes, we're going to get into this discussion yet again about whether perks have to be uh, game-breaking or not. And I feel like Borderlands 1 had a lot of those. Borderlands 2 had those too, but like what it was was you'd have um, a level of perks to choose from where it just made you do like 6% more damage. And then the next tier you'd have a choice of taking something of a, of a gameplay changing perk, but it wouldn't be like terribly gameplay gameplay cha changing. There was nothing in there that turned you into like a doctor like the soldier could in Borderlands 1 for instance. And let me tell you about that. Um, what that was was uh, I think it was called Cauterize. And it made it so that if you ever shot at allies, useless in single player, you would heal them. In fact, you could actually fix a car as long as an ally was in it. If an ally was not in it, guess what? The uh, car blew up. And uh, yeah, so that was really helpful to a degree. Ah, dang it. Because, you know, unfortunately, if you were playing on Xbox, and I think there was a good chance you were, there was an auto-aim on there, and so you were always auto-aiming against enemies, and if you are trying to heal up your uh, co-op player, co-op friends, e you weren't going to be able to stay locked on them for very long. You'd have to heal them with rockets, mostly. Mostly. Or anything that you shoot at the ground that explodes. Anything that you can't miss with. Yeah. Cap. I'm starting to get very pessimistic about your odds of double S ranking giga difficult. And that's where I come to tell you, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I used my second jump so that you know I'm an expert. <sighs> then why didn't I just throw myself into the spikes? I don't know. I was kind of hoping that there was some alternative medicine to this. Uh-huh. Maybe I should watch a YouTube of this. I think if your uh, um, run goes long enough, it doesn't actually save it into the uh, leaderboards because it would just... That's probably their way of keeping too many... Um, I don't know. If somebody wanted to take down a uh, hitbox company or whatever their name is... Um, one way to do it would be to uh, overfill their leaderboard or servers with uh, bad data or something. And imagine if, like, I don't know, like a hundred uh, accounts put in hundred-hour runs or something. I, I'm still gonna get you. Just, uh, that would just be a whole bunch of useless data, and they only have a hundred game sales to cover for it. So uh, yeah. Oh, that's a thing. Come on, Dustman. I like to blame Dustman because then I don't have to blame myself. It's excellent. Alright. Cool. Banes. Alright. Cool beans. Cool banes. Bane of my existence. I just want to beat Mega Difficult. Then I'll get to work on Giga Difficult. Brilliant idea rhyming difficult with difficult. Just, you know, what I want to do with my life. 
Okay. Uh, I think actually smacking it will force my momentum to stop, though. So that's a thing. That will be a thing. We'll get there. Okay. Oh. Um. Yes. Come on. Dust man. Maybe I should like calm the F down when I get to the apex of up there and I start to do the jump. Of course, I don't even know what's coming next. I don't have like very good eyesight. Oh, I have okay eyesight, but like my perception, guys, to put it in fallout terms is like two. <laughs> so I'm not even looking at what's coming up next. I, I don't know. It's probably going to be another thing where I have to get a whole bunch of things perfect in a row. That was nice. I need to start the mega swing a lot sooner, I think. Or at least a little sooner. I need to break the momentum. Or at least get my jump back. Maybe that's what it wants me to do. Oh, that was so good. I want more runs like this. Ow. I, I got all excited about having my jump back and, uh, well, used it promptly. And then died promptly. Okay. Ah. Uh. You know what? You know what? Uh. I'm gonna have to, um, just make kind of a promise to beat this level. And split it up. So what I'm gonna do is next death. X death. Uh, this death. Um, I'm going to have to end it here, and I'll be right back in another, well, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow for another 20 minutes of mega difficult. I just kind of want to split these up a bit, kind of make it easier on myself at least, because I, I find it easier to work with grapes than I do with grapefruits, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, I'm not giving up this run yet.